no discernible way of getting from platform one onto platform two. There was no tunnel underneath the platforms or indeed walkway over the platforms, right? Now I'm stood on platform one. I needed to be on platform two, but I'm quite a shy person. So I was just awkwardly stood on platform one for about 10 minutes. Eventually the guard came over. He went, uh, are you right, mate? I said, I'm not, I'm just wondering, how do I get onto platform two? He went, well, uh, you just walk across the tracks. I was like, what if there's a fucking train coming? He went, don't walk across the tracks. <laughs> I generate material in different ways. Sometimes it's uh, something that's happened to me that I'll remember, or sometimes I'll just make a random note in my uh, iPhone or my uh, notebook, and then kind of revisit the idea. Sometimes like a couple of years later in some cases, or sometimes like that week, that it kind of like, almost like a puzzle, it kind of all fits together. I was in the bar recently in the bar and he was like, mate, we got an offer on whiskey. I was like, what is it? He goes, Jameson's with cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah, I know, in the same glass. <laughs> I was like, that's got a very specific demographic you're after there, isn't it? <laughs> Depressed men with cystitis. <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoy telling jokes and writing jokes and I'm working on a few things. I'm working on a few scripted things and I'm doing a sketch show in the autumn with some other comedians, so that should be fun. But no, I just, I kind of, I try and work hard and just see what happens. Thank you very much for coming. I've just noticed there's a fucking guy up there in a banana costume. <laughs> <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to see me. I've been like Langford. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> <laughs>